Hey, Genki Call here with Hall of Guardians Faction 500 Deathless. Uh, my Kingdom level White Helm is connected to Hall of Guardians, and it is at level 15, meaning that I do have a 50% Faction Horde stat bonus uh, from hitting level 12 and 14 here on my, on my levels. Uh, so I do have those an extra 50% on my stats. Now, my Horde level is at 200, and that is not because I need it for Faction 500. You don't need a Faction... Um, you don't need your Horde to be that high for Faction 500 Deathless here. This is because um, I'm going to need it for Pure Faction. I've heard this is a really difficult one. I haven't done it yet, obviously. I'm just now doing level 500 Deathless. So these are my boosts between my horde level and my kingdom level and also i have all of the potions one power of potion from having it a uh, potion of power <laughs> from having it at level 200 so those are my stats the team that i've got here i've done the first two battles as always so you don't have to sit through them and my team is high king iron gut with the essence of evil Harpy Mage and Vash Dagon. Now, Harpy Mage, it has a 75% mana start so that um, I can get some quick mana here. Essence of Evil is also for mana and because it's evil. <laughs> and Vash Dagon is here for the curse. Now, you don't have to use Vash Dagon. If you don't have Vash Dagon, you can use Medusa. You can use uh, the Scourge of Honor. You can use Matron Valen. I'll have all of that in the description below. But it's just for this final troop here is for that that third trait of the curse for things that are immune to devour. Because once they get cursed, they're no longer immune to devour. Not a problem in this room, but um, could run into that along the way. I just like to do that for safety's sake. I don't like to just scout out all the rooms. I'd rather just take in something that's going to be helpful just no matter what. So I am going to cast this upon a High King Iron Gut. This is going to blow up one of the mana colors. I don't want to cast it on herself because although what I really need is yellow, but brown or blue would still be better than red. Actually, no, it wouldn't, but I'm still going to cast on High King Iron Gut. There we go, and the, f the most dangerous thing here is really the gargoyle. However, if you use skulls upon the silent sentinel, you will get silenced. And so that would mean that you couldn't use High King Iron Gut uh, if he's silenced. So we want to get rid of her first, then we'll hit the, the gargoyle. Ethereal Sentry is only dangerous if they have mana to use um, because I'm sorry if they have armor once the enemies have no armor it's completely useless it does nothing except create a light storm uh, it does have spell and skull damage reduction they all do so I'm fine with them having uh, a skull hit on me at this point I would rather have some mana so I'm just gonna do this um, since now I don't have to hit the gargoyle first, I can go ahead and take out the ethereal sentry, and then Vashdagon is full, but I'm not going to use him. You can cast him upon himself and not lose any troops. This is supposed to be deathless, so you don't want to you don't want to um, eat one of your allies. You could totally take out High King Iron Gut and do a ton of true st uh, true scatter damage, but that boost to his life would be insane because he's at a thousand stats right now. And it could probably take out this whole team, but, but, we don't want to do this. This is supposed to be deathless. So, let's see. Red would be good. Oh, I've stalled out. Meh. I stalled out. Alright, we'll do that. <laughs> oh, I love that so much. Anyway, you can cast him on upon himself. As long as Vashdagon is not cursed or stunned, you can cast him on himself. He'll still do the damage, but he will not devour himself because he's immune to it. Uh, unless he's cursed or stunned. <laughs> In which case, don't do that. 
Um, okay, Essence of Evil is about to be full. We'll go ahead and do this, get some mana. And then we'll just take this guy out. Deathless complete. Whoop, whoop. All right, let me see my winnings here. I think I should have a pet in here. I think. Let's see. Uh, I did Pure Faction at level 380, so I definitely have a level, um, a legendary pet at this point. Uh, I already had the legendary point uh, pet because if you do level, let me back up and explain what I'm talking about. So if you do level 300 Pure Faction and then complete level 500 Deathless, you will have enough of the faction pet to get it to legendary, and that's going to be important. I will show you why I'm in the wrong place. Pets. I think I may have already leveled it. Let me see. I think I already leveled it, and I don't remember what it's called. I can do this! Sorry. Bear with me. <laughs> I get distracted easily. I don't want to forget to do that. Look! I oh, so cute! Alright, halt. That is wrong. Here's how you check what the faction pet is. Click here. It is the tiny dancer. So, um, right now we're at a boost for the pure faction. Tiny dancer! There we go. Yes, and it's already at legendary because I already increased it, but we're up to 2.75 team bonus for Hall of Guardians. So that's going to help with my pure faction. So anyway that's what i've got for you for pure fact or not pure faction for level 500 deathless for hall of guardians i will include a link to my forum where i have all of my teams in the description box below um, so you can see other teams that you could use for those high level delves please like and subscribe and we'll see you folks soon bye